Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Today, Sarah has a story to share with us. Sarah, please begin. Then, when I got here in 2024, I was young. All my short life, I'd lived in this little town. But eventually, like everyone else, I had to flee. And I... Uh, we heard the Villador was still taking people in, so we walked for 40 days and 40 nights. When we got here, they had just closed the gates. So we camped outside the walls like thousands of other people. In fact, it swarmed us. We fought them off with rocks during the day. At night, they got more dangerous. Sometimes a sniper on the walls would have mercy and help. Eventually, some guy showed up, told us he'd smuggle us in through the sewers. But as soon as we got past the wall, he disappeared with all our stuff. Then a patrol caught us, packed us in a truck, laughing that they were taking us to the mosh pit. That's what they called the refugee camp at the stadium. We slept on the pallet beds. Everyone fit for work dug latrines and graves. One meal a day, no blankets. We were sick for almost a month. Then Jake got jaundice. Don't know where they buried him. Just me and a three-year-old son. One night, power went out in the entire stadium. Black as the grave. There were 15,000 people there, without UV light. Panic broke out. I took Ben and started to run. We fought through the crowd. And then I heard noises, like fireworks. People started to point at something. I looked and saw some buildings spewing this yellow cloud. And these things flying over the city like giant bees. Black Monday. January 6th, 2025. They started dropping chemical bombs, that yellow dust everywhere. The whole camp started to run. I got knocked to the ground and I... I... I lost track of Ben. I was screaming his name, but the crowd was so thick. I remember people pushing me into the street. I remember the smell of fear filling the air. The sky covered in a yellow haze. I blacked out. I woke up at dusk, alone, on an empty roof, between mangled bodies. I heard the infected feeding on corpses. I thought I would never see my son Ben again. I searched corpses for a week, looking for the body of my three-year-old son. Then. Somebody told me the local priest was keeping a list of people who were missing and had been found. Carl. Turned out that Ben had been found by a couple in the stadium crowd when we were pushed into the street. It's okay, hon. Let it out. When I found him, I thought I would die from joy. We had survived. That's what mattered. We survived. 